Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're on the trail of a secret beach. <laughs> so we're going to make our way down to that beach over there in my, well, off to my right. It's quite tricky to get down. You have to use a rope to climb over the rocks. It doesn't exist at high tide, so we're gonna wait for the tide to go down a little bit. But let's go over there. It's called Malunan Beach. So far I explored the beach. Today we've parked here. This is St. Anthony Head National Trust car park. It's February 2022, and for four hours it's four pounds. For National Trust members it's free. St Anthony Head is at the bottom of the Roseland Peninsula, near St Anthony Head Lighthouse. If you're new to our channel, we explore Cornwall. We walk around a lot, we take you to filming locations, Poldark, Dot Martin, and secret beaches yeah so this is sarah i'm andrew and that's the subscribe button there is it or there is it well just subscribe yeah <laughs> please it helps us out a huge amount <laughs> beautiful little building here it's a former paraffin store for the lighthouse as you know here at CWT we like to go to all lengths to get you the shots that you want to see. Let's have a look inside the old paraffin store. I should freelance in burglaries. <laughs> I don't think you get away with it, you film it too much, too much evidence. That's true. <laughs> Why are we taking you to a secret beach in February? Well, at the moment in Cornwall, it's quiet. You can go wherever you want. The car parks are relatively empty. If you get a nice day like this spring day we've got today, the world, Cornwall, is your oyster. In the summer, it's a different matter. Car parks fill up by 10 o'clock, beaches are busy. So you might want to tuck this one into your back pocket, just in case. So you park at St Anthony Head, by the lighthouse and the barracks. Pick up the southwest coast path as if you're heading towards St Moors and you come across Malunan Beach. So that's where we're going today. Malunan Beach is actually two coves, one called Little Malunan and the other Great Malunan. This one, near the wooden bridge, is Little Malunan. The tide is still quite high on Little Malunan, so we're going to go a bit further on to Great Malunan. Like most secret beaches, I doubt there are any actual secret beaches in Cornwall anymore. What it means to me is it's more off the beaten track, a bit more hidden, secluded. And like most of those sorts of beaches, you have to make more effort. So there's a little walk, and then when you get to the beach, there's a rope that helps you get down there. I reckon you could probably do it without the rope but it does give you a little bit of comfort and reassurance. It's great. Here's the rope that helps you get down. 
That's a really nice sturdy rope. Maybe the posters are a little doubtful, but it's all been nicely spliced in and it just helps you to get down into the cove. What about the dog? Well, I'm going to see if it's safe for me to go down by watching you how, so you can show me how to do it. Concentrate on our doggy, please. The glory of a secluded beach. I've got it to myself. There's nobody else here, and it's just getting bigger as that tide goes out. Fabulous view, lighthouse, Falmouth. Oh, what a joy. This is Maluna Beach, it's opposite Falmouth, and it's on the Roseland Peninsula near St Anthony Head. And it's deserted, golden sand, the waves gent gently break on this beach is ideal. No huge rollers for surfing unfortunately. It depends what your bag is really. It's just beautiful. Got you. <laughs> Wise man once said to me, Sarah, if life's a beach, why don't we all have sandy feet? Oh, very good. It's just gorgeous here. That that water, the sound, the rhythmic breaking is so calming. And it's so beautiful with the sun dancing on it today. And this beach, deserted, beautiful. you're doing some sketching I'm gonna go off and take some lovely photos yes and I can do more sketching at home oh good idea
the lighthouse. It's it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like the fact you've done it on like a double page. Oh, it just lended itself to it. It's lent That's itself it? to it. So, a few little hidden rocks offshore. The page is flapping, I'm going to ruin it. Got the rocks. The rocks are always darker at the base, aren't they? The flatness of the water, except where the rocks come down. The greenery comes down it, it's quite steep. It's a paraffin storehouse, isn't it? Yeah, and it's surrounded by these rather wonderful dark green kind of fir trees that are very flat with their branches, aren't they? There's quite a lot of them actually and they're very flat and angular. Hands are too cold, can't do it. Are you going to finish that one at home? <laughs> yeah, put some colour in it. I've just put some it's looking good. tantalising footsteps in. What about that great big hole with the dug, dog dug? <laughs> the, the dug the, dog. The digging dog dug a hole. <laughs> it is. It is. This beautiful beach, Andrew, yeah. how do people get here? Well, they could hire a boat sail across. Yes. You could actually come across to St Moors, get the ferry from St Moors to Place, yes. and then it's a wander along the southwest coast path. Uh, well, yeah, it's a southwest coast path, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Okay, that's about two miles, I think. Or you could do as we've done today, park in the National Trust car park at St Anthony Head, and then it's a short or wander down, and you can combine it with looking at the lighthouse. Indeed. Before we came down to the beach, we did film a little bit extra around the barracks that are up at St Anthony Head and we're going to add that to our Patreon video. We do upload separate videos for our patrons, they're ad free and this one's got a little bit of extra content. In our Patreon video we explore the 19th century battery that was active during both world wars. Candles in a magazine area, wouldn't that be kind of like expecting a big bang? What an observation plot point now. It is, you've got a stunning view here, haven't you? And we have a charming story about the lighthouse. I think we're going to have to go home. Why? I don't want to leave our paradise private beach. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh yeah, it's a right. secret. It's a secret beach. Beautiful here. Yeah. I could stay here, watch that gentle break on the, the waves sit on this beautiful golden sand and just while away the hours it's beautiful it is stunning really stunning yeah we'll put the details in the description about how to get here remember okay. it's a secret don't tell anyone yeah. so until next time we'll see you soon bye, bye. It yeah, might be a bit ropey. <laughs> it's all in the edit. I can splice it together perfectly. <laughs> Get knotted. <laughs>